Okay, so today we are here to discuss about heart disease. First of all, we need to know what is heart disease. When we refer to heart disease, more often than not, we are referring to the heart which has got three major arteries that supply blood to the heart, which with blockages in these arteries, we then go on to develop heart disease. However, sometimes it may not necessarily be because of blockages, it may also be because of the muscles of the heart or the valves of the heart that has got its own issues. However, in this country and worldwide, when we talk about heart disease, we're actually usually referring to the blockages that happen to the heart, to the arteries of the heart, that supply blood to the heart. Now, how do you get these blockages? Well, as we progress through life, blockages happen because of very poor lifestyle, stresses, smoking, alcohol, diabetes, cholesterol, hypertension, which are the most common causes that affect the heart, whereby it causes blockages to the coronary arteries that supply blood to the heart. So we have to actually try to prevent these things from happening and mainly is to adopt a very positive lifestyle, control your risk factors, namely your diabetes, your blood pressure, your cholesterol, and seek help early from your doctor if you have any symptoms that affect the heart. And the symptoms are usually with regard to difficulty in breathing or shortness of breath. Therefore, I would then urge you to seek help early and to come and visit a cardiologist early. Now, there are various forms of treatment that can happen and that we can take place, but the treatment always starts with adopting a very good lifestyle and then medications to control all those risk factors namely diabetes cholesterol hypertension etc now once treatment is that is already a form of treatment then of course there's also other medications that you can take to make these blockages less important and finally there is always a treatment in the form of an angiogram or an angioplasty an angiogram is when you actually take a look at the coronary arteries that supply blood to the heart and if there are significant blockages that's causing impairment then you go on to do an angioplasty which refers to a balloon angioplasty with a stent implantation to the heart hopefully with this all these forms of treatment you should alleviate from the symptoms and therefore should also prevent you from developing a heart attack so therefore if you have risk factors and you are symptomatic I would urge you to consult a cardiologist early.